now we come to the definition of <coughs> what are independent events independent events okay See the connotation is this, the meaning is if we have two events E and F, then if occurrence of one does not affect the occurrence of the other, the probability, the occurrence of one, if one has already occurred and still it does not affect the probability of the occurrence of the other one, then that event will be said to be independent of this. And if the occurrence of this does not affect this, then it will be said to be this will be said to be independent and when both of these conditions happen then both the independence uh, the events are said to be independent of each other you understand that means something has occurred we had seen p f such that e was not equal to p f so it was dependent on e in the last example where when we had drawn two balls okay both black then the first we drew the first as black and did not replace it then drawing of the probability of the drawing of the second ball got affected by what he had drawn in the first draw right if you had drawn white then it would not have affected it but if you since you had drawn black the drawing of the black got affected correct okay now let there be uh, we will we'll, we'll understand this with an example let there be um, there are 52 cards that is known to all of you yes sir. yes sir let there be a pack of cards pack of cards without joker okay 52 cards okay there are 52 cards let e be let e be drawing of drawing a spade and f b drawing an ace okay drawing a spade and drawing an ace okay now let us start finding out their respective probabilities. What is P E? 13 by 52, 13 by 52 which is 1 by 4. Yes. What is P F? 4 by 52. 4 by 52. 52. So that is 1 by 13. What is E intersection F? Uh, 1 by 52. So that is 1 by 52. What is E such that F? Probability of drawing a spade such that an ace has already been drawn. P E such that F upon P F that is 1 upon 52 divided by 1 upon 13 that is that is 1 by 4 there was another way of doing that I, I will tell you later okay but remind me okay remind me to do this again what is p f such that e p f intersection e upon p e p f intersection e is what 1 by 52 divided by what is p e 1 by 4 so that is 1 by 13 
Now, what do we see? We see that probability of E is the same as probability of E such that F has occurred and probability of F is the same as probability of F such that E has occurred. Is it not? Both of them, see, P E such that F is the same as P E. So, I will I'll encircle it. I will box it. Okay. And so, the green ones. And see, the red ones. Isn't it? So, P when it was occurring as the first event, then also it was the same as when it occurred after E, right? So, P E, this is equal to 1 upon 4, this is equal to 1 upon 13. So, wait, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 13, correct? So, it, 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 it seems as if the occurrence of F has simply not affected the occurrence of E. And here, the occurrence of E has not affected the affected the occurrence of F. Now, what does that mean? It means that these two events are independent of each other. Okay? That is the definition of independence. So, if there are two events E and F and the occurrence of one does not affect the other and the occurrence of the other does not affect the one, then the two events are said to be independent of each other, independent to each other. Okay, so, so this is the criteria for independence. But but I'd like to, I'd like to define it like this: if E and F are two events, and occurrence of E independently, E alone is the same probability of occurrence, obviously. Probability of occurrence of E alone is the same as the occurrence of E after the occurrence of F. Also, 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 the occurrence, the probability of occurrence, the probability of occurrence of F alone is the same as the probability, here also probability, okay, as the probability of occurrence of F after E, then the events E and F are said to be independent of each other. Okay. 
So what does it tell me? It tells me that mathematically, I'll say mathematically, mathematically, it is probability of occurrence of E is the same of same as this and probability of occurrence of F same as the occurrence of F just like this. Mathematically it is that. Obviously the denominator should not go to zero. That is also there. So here I'll say PF is not equal to zero. Here I'll say PE is not equal to zero. We get the point. These are independent events. Now there is a confusion and a great one with independent events and exclusive events. Mm -hmm. Independence, independent event and mutually exclusive events. Okay. Now you see this is this was this the, the example that we took that was an independent event, right? Right? The two events were independent are they are they mutually exclusive what do you mean by mutually exclusive when one happens the other does not for example getting a head and a tail that is a mutually exclusive event you cannot say that yes i'll get a head as well as a tail okay hmm? getting one two three four five six on the dice is mutually exclusive you cannot get get two of them simultaneously okay at times it will feel as if the independent is exclusive. It is not. Independent events are not always mutually exclusive. In the sense that are these two exclusive? No. Had they been exclusive, the, the, their intersection would have gone to zero. phi. It can't go to zero. Intersection of a set has to be a set. Okay? Zero is a number. So it will be phi. Fine? But it is not phi. Is it phi? No. There is one. Hmm? Ace of spades. E intersection F will be ace of spades. That is there. So it is not exclusive but is independent. Okay. So independence is the independence of events is a probabilistic thing while the occurrence of the uh, uh, but uh, exclusivity has to do with sets in a sense right in a sense and another warning that i like to give you just looking at the events you won't be able to tell whether they are independent okay you have to do this so that way this is a better guideline than your common sense it rarely so happens that formulas are a better guideline than common sense but this is one of the cases. Otherwise, you will simply have no clue. Sometimes it will feel as if they are independent. Sometimes it will feel as if they are not independent. And many a times, what interferes, you know, that exclusivity funda. Okay? If you, if you say, no, that, uh, then, then they can occur simultaneously, then, then I don't know what. And then you're gone. So, for, for checking the independence, you should always apply this. Always. Without fail. For exclusivity, you write the sets, see if their intersection is a null. If it is, fine. If it is not, they are not exclusive. Okay. So, have you written that? Hmm? So, let's talk. So let me write this. Independence and independent and mutually exclusive events. 
ओके इवेंट्स ई एंड एफ आर इंडिपेंडेंट इफ पी ई इज इक्वल टू पी ई सच दैट एफ एंड पी एफ एंड पी एफ इज इक्वल टू पी एफ सच दैट ई ऑब्वियसली हेयर पी एफ इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो हेयर पी ई इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो वाई दैट बिकॉज दैट कम्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर फाइन दैट कम्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो so so this is independence events are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive if if e intersection f is is a is a null set okay so exclusivity is a set phenomena therefore exclusivity is a set phenomena while independence is a probability phenomena many a time many a time you'll get confused okay now 